All right, question and answer time. Let me just give a quick shout out to Ratchet. Ratchet Clothing is a company out of the UK. They are our sponsor for the show. I'll put a link down below. Go check them out. They have clothing for men, women, and children. The men and women are unisex clothing. They got various prints, tie dye and whatnot. Check them out. So as many of you know, a lot of questions come in. A lot are answered right on YouTube some in DMs, and some on emails. Some are not answered for the obvious reasons. So I compiled a list of questions I want to read out on air, and this is it. What would you have done if they agreed to pay 125000 And this is in reference to the banana sit-down over the pizzeria. Did you have a backup plan? No. If we told them they owed 125,000 to put the cousin in the business as a partner, we have to stick by that. You know, that's our word. So there was no backup plan. However, we knew they were never gonna pay the 125,000. Although they did offer to pay that to buy the place and they were told that it wasn't for sale. That's not why we were there that day. But no, there was no backup plan, and we would have definitely stuck to our agreement because that's why we were there. This is definitely a question from a New York guy or person. Why is it so many wise guys will not admit that drug dealing is basically allowed in the mob? <laughs> that's simple. First of all, nobody's going to admit to that. But just like the rules are broken every day, right? So just like a guy that goes with another member's wife or girl, they're not going to admit to that. They know there's a rule there. They're not going to admit that they're breaking the rule. Nobody in that life is going to admit, hey, I break the rules. They're just going to go about it and break them. Obviously, drug dealing is a part of the life. Every, every family has their drug guys. They just turn and look the other way. That's, that's basically the answer. Why not just flex on them? <laughs> This is in reference to the incident with the Lucchese associate that was going to be extorted by a Craigslist woman. Let them know who you guys are and advise them that it would be better for their health not to move forward with the extortion scheme. No, that's what's called exposure in that life. You do not want exposure. You do not want people to know who you are. They're not supposed to know who you are. That's the way you're supposed to live that life if you live it correctly. And by doing all of that, you're, you're exposing yourself. And that's, that's the answer. <laughs> what is the funniest thing you said while filming? So there was an episode... I believe it was Murray Humphreys I was doing. It was in the summer, like July. While filming, you heard fireworks go off in the background. And I mentioned that. And then I stopped and said, well, they're throwing shots at me. After I said that, and I, I didn't realize what I said, I received so many messages through DMs, emails, and even on YouTube of people laughing about that. And they all found it funny. It was kind of funny. What would you say now to associates you knew who may still want to get made? I mean, that's simple. Think long and hard. Take a look at me because it could happen to you. The loyalty and the honor is definitely gone in that life. Treachery is alive and kicking. So think twice about that. You know, it would be a mistake. What other family did you get along with best? And was it frowned upon by your own family? Obviously, that's going to be members of the Gambino family. I got along good with those guys. And no, it's not going to be frowned upon. The only family that they were not a fan of were the Bananos. And it's known for guys in that life to associate with members from other families. Nobody has a problem with it. Please tell us about Big Frankie. This is in reference to Frankie Lesterino. Frankie Lesterino used to be a member of the administration in the Lucchese family. Is he still active? Does he hold any position in the family? 
Honestly, I can't answer that. I don't know what's going on with him today. I could tell you that when I left the life, he was not active. He was put on the shelf by Vicar Musso, who's the boss of the family for his own reasons. And that was that. I don't know the answer to that. I would assume he's still on the shelf and will be until Vic, as long as Vic is alive. What happened between his son and Peter Argentina? Peter Argentina is Ray Argentina's brother. And all I know is what happened. Frankie's son went to Peter's tire shop. He wound up shooting him in the hand. When he went out, he wound up getting shot and killed by the police himself. I, I, that's all I know. I don't know exactly what, why he went there or what that was over. And now the number one question that I'm asked, I've been asked this multiple times by several people. If you were able to go back to your former life, would you do it? No. And that's an honest answer. You know, I live my life is very peaceful now. I have no, there's no treachery, no negativity in it. And, you know, it's very calm and I am very blessed. And that's, that's the truth. Do I miss certain guys that I was close to? Yes. But then at the end, everyone, everyone wind up turning, you know, naturally and, that's about it. I definitely would not go back. And that's the end of the questions. I hope everyone liked the answers that I gave to the questions. Continue to uh, post your questions. And I want to take the time to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I hope everyone has a healthy and safe Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays to you, or whatever your faith is. And have a very healthy new year. And let's hope for a better year, a positive new year. Ciao for now.